Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how to prepare and execute a test case and also how to record a bug using the new Test and Lab Manager that is part of the Visual Studio 2010 suite of products. Remember, we are using Beta 2 of Visual Studio 2010, Team Foundation Server 2010, and also Test and Lab Manager. So, if you remember, we uh, we just created a bookstore application that will, this is a, a WPF application that will show the list of all available books in the bookstore. Now, going back to the source code here, I just want to show you a small change I made to the to the bookstore that Windows project in the app that saml that CS source code. I just added a dispatcher and handle exception uh, handler for the application, so I will uh, catch any possible exception that comes from any part of the application and show it in this message box, as you can see here. Okay, that's the only change I made. Now let's close this. And now let's go to Visual Studio 2010, Microsoft Test and Lab Manager. I will right-click this and run as an administrator. This is because uh, Test and Lab Manager will need this administration permission to be able to collect information from the machine when we actually run the test. Okay, very useful information for the developer. Now let's just cancel here because I want to show you the first time experience of this product. Let's go here. And this is the first uh, screen that you, you would uh, see first time you go to this product. So here you have to type to type your Team Foundation server uh, name, same as in Visual Studio, click Add, and now you have to enter your credentials. I will use the tester credentials here, because we are doing the testing stuff. OK. Click OK. Now let's select the default collection and the, the Bookstore Team project. Connect now. And now, in Test and Lang Manager, you do have uh, two steps okay, to create your tests. First, you have to create a plan, a testing plan, and add some test cases. And later, you have to actually execute or run them to collect some information and save your, your results. So here, first thing to do, click Add, and let's add the name for this. Let's call it Main Plan. Click Add. Select this. And then we go to the main uh, user interface of Test and Lab Manager. Now, here in the left side, you can see we do have our main plan. And first thing I want to, to do is to go to the properties here. This shows all the, uh, the information related to, to this plan so far. So let's do a couple of changes here. First, on iteration, I will specify we're using iteration 1. In test settings, I would like to sh change this to local test run. Why? Because I already modified these settings. Let's open this. Adding an interesting uh, information here. Let's go to data and diagnostics. Here you can see all the information that you can actually collect from the machine while you execute your test. And one very uh, interesting uh, addition is the video recorder. If you enable this, you can re actually record a video of your of your test, you know, which would be very useful for the developer. Okay, so I just did that. Let's click uh, finish. Now, also uh, in here in configurations, I am selecting Windows 7 and IE8. You can actually, this is not default, you can actually create this configuration using the manage hyperlink here. And this is just reference data. It's not really like uh, it is detecting that you're using Windows 7 or IE8 in your machine, just reference data. So now that we did this, let's save and close. Okay. And now we do need to add some, um, some tests, some requirements to this. So I will just click add requirements. Okay, and if you remember, we do have some user stories which are our requirements for this project. So with the one that we are interested in right now is this one. As a customer, I want to see all the available books. Let's select this requirement, a requirement to plan. So all, all the testing, test cases that we create here will be related to this, uh, to this requirement. You know, this is very good for tracking. Now here, let's click on uh, new to add a new um, test case. So let's say we want to test um, view all available books. Okay, so assign it to Rachel Green, which is a tester. Let's click on iteration one, and here in this in this part we have to add some steps for this for this test. So let's add um, open application. 
Okay. Now, as, as we want to see all available books, let's do not enter a book type. Okay. And in the end, let's click search to get all available books. Now, we do have an expected result here because we want to see all available books. Okay, you can see you have you do have a different icon for this one because we do have an expected result. Okay, and the test runner will validate that we actually received this this result. Okay, so let's save and close. Okay, and we will now see the new uh, test case right here. Now let's switch into the test tab because this is the part we, when we actually run the test. Okay, and we will start collecting some results. So let's click here. You can see here is our test plan and we will now click run. Okay, now that we are here, we will have to select create action recording to collect all the information from, from the machine. Let's click add start test. Okay, so right now the test runner is preparing to collect all the information that the, the application will generate, including videos and you will see some other stuff. Okay. Okay, now being here, let me just do this, and we will just start. So, first step, open the application. Let's do that. Open application. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, we can see application open it. So, no problems. Let's just, just click pass in here. Next step, do not enter a book type. So, easy to do. Just go here. We do not type any book type. So let's just click pass for this one. Now, next one is the interesting one. We will have to click search and see all the available books. So let's do that. Click search. And now we do have a interesting exception here. So we will just say this is a this is a bug. So what we're going to do is to collect some information from this. Let's capture a rectangular screenshot for this. Of course, my my screen is just not big enough right now. But let's say this is all the information that we just want want right right now you can see the screenshot is right here okay so let's just now click close this close application and mark this as a fail test so we will say okay let's click here application crashed and let's click on end test okay as we do that, uh, the, the lab manager is just added all the information related to, to this. And we can what we can do here also is to create a bug, you know. That would be very very useful if we can just create a bug right from here. We don't have to do to go anywhere else. Okay. So while we are here, let's say application crash it on search. Okay, let's just say this will be iteration one. And you can see we do have some related information here. We do have uh, the steps. We do have uh, video links. We do have the screenshot right here. Okay. We do have a lot of information, logs, you know, all information that will be very useful for the developer, you know, and we don't, we don't have to to do anything else to get all this information into the bug. So let's just say, oh, also assign this to the developer, okay? And click save and close. So this bug is right now just being saved into Team Foundation server, being assigned to the developer, and that's pretty much it. We can just now close this, which will take us back to the main screen of the Test and Lab Manager, okay? And you can see the the red bar means that this is a failed test. So that's it. that's it for this video. Next video we will see actually how to fix this bug. Okay, thank you and see you again.